Hello everybody and welcome back to episode 15 of Steel Force. So, uh, we, we, we got goblins in front of us. Stupid little goblins. <laughs> well, it's going to be a very, very short fight and the great torments wish to parlay to, to avoid loss of life. <laughs> yeah, I wonder whose loss of life, but uh, yeah, we're, uh, we're going to give them the honors by stationing our dwarfs right in front of them just like we did the last time and yeah more chaos mayhem and elven raiding today i really hope that we're uh, going to see everything go out without drowning dwarves i mean technically these are only puddles so anybody who's down there shouldn't be drowning what heck do I know here? Okay, here uh, the the very first uh, almost dead dwarf is already uh, there, severely injured, and we have again. Yeah, well, that one went down a little bit uh, un uncool for my friends, but whatever. Lavender jade. So that's all been a pretty nifty trick of the gobs to uh, to lure these legendary fighters to a territory where they can be taken down easily. Smart little gobbers, I give them that. But still dead little gobbers. We have to we have to see that one as well. All right. So I really hope that we are uh, going to be able to make some serious progress on the city. Because I want to get that part of the of the fort done. All right, injured people. Um, one of the obscure vessels and two of the obscure vessels. As in, so far really good. As this means that oh, they're still at the station. Um, as this means that they're going to be no problems with the girders of naming and the uh, roll swords. Speaking of which, where's number two? <laughs> when did that person die? Care to explain? Is there uh, somebody, somebody missing up there? So let's see. That's goblin remains. That's crossbow bolts. Hmm. People were stationed up there so long. Did he fall to the elves? Well, that's hard to tell, but, uh, well, let's hope that we are going to see some, some good replacement here. Well, definitely not going to go for the doctors. Yeah, here we go. One stone cutter. One stone cutter. Yeah, all right. So, uh, that slows us down a little bit, I gotta say. Wait a sec. Explore leaf fondled. That's the wrong. Uh... We hit the wrong button there. All right. We got to keep those attacks coming or the elves can recover. And uh, well, let's see how this will go down. Oh, look at the rooftops. Beautiful. So, yeah, let's just uh, hope that these goofballs will be able to get the job done without locking themselves in. I'm I'm only partially convinced that this will go down correctly. All right, but every building where I build a little bit of a rooftop on uh, on it, I, I I I really feel like I have achieved something. Sounds probably a little bit stupid, but these houses they are really. Really, uh, quite a lot of work and all. Oh, wait a sec. That one I didn't want. Err, mass remove. Effect planned. There we go. Such a useful tool. <laughs> Alright. There we go. So, 
yet another building somewhat finished. Still no written content. Still that paper production is uh, not working out as intended. Still I don't really have an idea why. <laughs> oh well. One thing at a time. There we go. So, let's check back with the uh, blob making. Mash plant into slurry. So, we do that as long as there is something uh, slurryable greater than 10. Hmm, also not working out. That's so weird. I never had this problem. But here it, uh, it does work out. So. This should work. If the amount of glob is less than 10, do this. Ah. That is so weird. I mean, it would fit if we'd had... Oh... Now I see the problem. <laughs> Shoot. Yeah, alright. Glob is obviously also tallow. No wonder that it doesn't work. Yeah, that is so... Uh... Let's see, um, can we specify that deeper? Ow. You know, you, you think you know your stuff, and then, and then this happens. So. And I can't configure it deeper, dang it. Alright. So, well, we're, uh, we're, we're, yeah. We're, we're just going to do that a couple of times. I had no clue that these might interfere with each other. That does explain so much of the weirdnesses that I've seen in the uh, over the course of the time. Well, all right. Today I learned. Globs are tallow. And the caravan has arrived. Ah, it's that time of the year again. It's a good time of the year. All right. So no more, no more wounded people here. That's good. We need to. We need to keep going here. That one is not intended to be around. All right. So let's keep going. The girders should go for a walk yet again. <laughs> All right. So let's see. Um, which finished goods bin is it? Is there already something of value? Number 23, made of alder. All right. So, that's the high wood bins, alder, number 23, <coughs> yeah, bring me the alder twin number 23, yours, it's time to trade, wonderful, love it, alright, but you know, you gotta, you gotta get your, get your bearings straight somehow, you know, Otherwise, you don't know what's up. All right, so we're uh, we're, we're we're gonna keep doing what we can, what we do best: water, limestone, dolomite, marble, and yeah. That's not I mean, so far we haven't made any any steel yet, even even though we are able to, but, uh, you know. 
Currently, I'm busy setting up the military infrastructure so we can't bash those heads in. We have a pretty big quest up ahead of us, and I, I really want to get stuff done here, you see. Alright. Obviously, the broker is still very, very busy with his, with his diorite, diorite blocks. I bet that he's uh, currently holding a diorite boulder from gosh knows where. All right, own stream. More like blown stream. All right. One thing in the far-fetched future, Doosim will be ready. There we go. Now we can do the trading. Let's see. Did they bring anything else than stone? Not. Not this time. Not again. All right, no problem. So at this point, check these out. I mean, there are amulets between these, which went extremely valuable. So mm, I want to pay up with the uh, less impressive ones, but I really want to give a look-see on these uh, super expensive ones. Let's offer some gifts. But uh, at the same time, what the hell has happened with a couple of these? So, yeah, well, I'm going to look at these once they are back on the, on, the, on the workstation side. Yeah, I have failed my animals yet again. I have streaks of... Uh, of success on this uh, department. But well. Not always does it work. Alrighty, so we're uh We're going places, aren't we? Look at them! They're doing it! They're not goofballing it up. I'm so proud of you, Eurist. Okay. So, more people are arriving. Excellent. That's what I've been waiting for. Because that gives me yet another excuse to build another barracks. And uh, and, 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 and you know where that leads to. Alright. Nice. Hmm. Tell you what, we're, we're going to make one of these uh, areas another barracks. And the other one will be someday used as a hospital, I guess. Oh, I constantly have so many other things on my mind that I uh, that I keep forgetting about. So, a new squad. The Barricaded Brightness. Alright. So, Rimtar, the Legendary Administrator. Wonderful. These are all already in squadrons. So here we're now going to take the worst of the worst and let Rimta make proper soldiers out of them. I like the idea of that. Okay. There we go. Those are the new fighters of tomorrow. So the barricaded brightnesses. There we go. So, looks as if we are out of uh, breastplates? Are you serious? That shocks me. That truly, truly shocks me. Well, we can't fix that easily. Let's fix the shield template real quick. And then we'll see about that lack of breastplate. I mean, this brings up, up, us up to a grand total of 40 dwarfs at, at arms. Yeah, so obviously we're lacking two shields and two breastplates. Uh, and a breastplate. So, yeah, whatever. We are, uh, we're going to fix these up. And if I saw that correctly, there was also a lack of gauntlets. Nah, helmet. Alright, never mind. I tried, okay. 
All right, we're going to make these. I think we still have a nice stockpile of iron at our hand. Oh, wait. Oh. Yikes. Not really. Oof. We're pretty poor. Ah, well. Jeez, Spirit Waxes is like a... Uh, like a mushroom that I'm trying to destroy, but it just doesn't die. Shoot. Yeah, I, I really am surprised about the uh, resilience of those uh, elven people there. They, they keep coming up with 50 new people every, every now and then. It is uh, pretty obnoxious how, how regularly they are doing that. Wow, that is... Uh... Yeah. Turns out I seem to have underestimated the, uh, the pointy ears a little bit in their uh, in their fighting spirit but after all we like a good fight all right so i'm i'm ordering a stupendous amount of mining here in the hopes of finding new ores down there let's see what that'll do the raw swords came back already brilliant looks like they uh they got that one down so I mean, I feel as if we are making slow poke progress. In my understanding, as soon as I have enough squadrons roaming around the world, eventually we should overpower them. At least that's my thought. But uh, up until then, we'll, we'll have to train them and we'll have to micromanage the assaults again and again until they are no more. But I mean, on the other bright side here, to make it a little less gloomy, we have here pretty much, pretty of the city is done. I mean, seriously, it's not, to me personally, that's really big good news, you know? So I can finally start building that uh, wooden fortress soon. Oh man, I'm so looking forward to that. I've never ever built a structure that had, uh, oh, well, again, medical record records. Um, I never ever had a, uh, a, a fortress that had a focus on using wood as its main material. So this is really exciting for me. All right, we struck some shore. All right, keep shoreling. It's not exactly what I was hoping for. But well. And the Royal Swords came back from their quest. Yeah, well. There we go. So I really need to think about what I'm going to do with the regenerative uh, qualities of my enemies. Stay like that. I mean, where do I end it? I guess eventually we will just kill off what's settling down close to our turf or something like that. So, well, it ain't easy, that's for sure. All right, so my spear blokes are wearing, wielding the proper spears. It's really important to me. Ugh. This crown jump thing is just like a uh, worm that just won't die. I mean, I'm not even reading the uh, combat uh, records anymore because there's just little elves hiding instead of giving up this area already accepting that we are just the uh, dominant force now here deal with it bro more shoral Ugh. it's not what I hope to find 
<laughs> all right so there's more than enough stuff uh, growing here on the pasture it just looks a little bit crowded doesn't it, it certainly does all right so here we need the alanite and i'd say here we're just going to Put up more ramps and put up a roof on top of this and call it a day. There we go. And we just have that temple building, which I ain't completed yet, but uh, maybe we'll leave it like this. Ah, this was the news that I was hoping for. Finally, a report of hematite. It might be, again, not much, but it'll help us to, to gear out the barricaded brightnesses and uh, keep things going. So, uh, alright. Crown Jump is being destroyed. Own Stream. Ah, uh, yeah, the Raw Swords are not really back yet. I see. Okay. Too bad. <laughs> But with a grand total of 40 soldiers, we should be getting somewhere soon. It's only a question of time at this point until the barricaded brightnesses can fight themselves. And then we got three squadrons raiding these pl this place. I am considering a fifth one, but I'm not sure about that yet. Really depends a lot on how successful our raids will be. Alright. So, here we go. Next one, finally a new city being attacked, Auburn Wax, or how the place is called. Yeah, or we'll just uh, keep that uh, hospital that grew organically around there, give it some walls and uh, a proper place there, and just do a second barracks there for Squad 5. Really considering that at the end of the day. It is what happened, you know. All right, so I thought I, I ordered you guys to destroy this place. Hmm, must have canceled it somewhere. I didn't even know that this was possible. Whatever. Yeah, well, it is pretty fascinating to me to see that I have another favorite fortress and it's always the one that I'm currently playing. Seriously, it is a pretty interesting thing to note. I rarely feel as if my forts are bothering me or, or boring me. And if so, it often has different reasons. Play posts or, or just a regular little burnout from uh, Dwarf Fortress. It does happen. Nobody can play the same thing day in and day out without burning themselves out. It's just not possible. All right, so I want to cover the collar here up because I really don't like this being that uh, purple. And on the other side here, it's the same thing, but uh, the other way around, I don't like it to be that brown. It's the rooftop after all. Uniform is colors, please. Okay. So, my fighters are all back again, and Spirit Waxes has been rebuilt. I gotta say, this must be some sort of a spiritual place for these guys, because they, they just keep coming again and again and again. It's, uh, it's like an endless story, it's amazing. But I do see that we, we keep attacking in each episode one or two new areas and I'm very very confident that with the uh, um, training of this new squadron ah, this will change a lot it will really change a lot I think. once we have third squad available to roam downtown that'll do a big big thing of a difference 
I mean, at the end of the day, the big roleplay goal of this uh, place here is to strike fear into these creatures here. But uh, it is very interesting to see. My folks are taking hold of all manner of different areas. They have actually conquered one of these goblin pits up there. Which brings me to the idea maybe we should conquer the whole place up there. You know. Why destroy what you can rule? Hmm. Maybe we are taking this whole idea of the of the elven warfare uh, uh, wrongly. Maybe we should make them our allies if we can't just burn them all. So let's see. Demand surrender and occupy. Um, no. No. Oh, man, that sucks. All right, never mind. This would be an entirely different uh, strategy that we'd need to apply to that. This would require us to send constantly people who rule over this place. A very, very interesting concept that I will follow in a different fortress. Brings me up to entirely new ideas. Love it. But, uh... Nah. Not, not for this one. This is a very, very interesting idea for the future. Oh, well. Always love to see new things that I can implement uh, another time. But, um, uh, now... Alder number 23, why the hell are some of your amulets so freaking valuable? 923, come on, give me one of those super valuables. 1,200. Red Tourmaline, Shawl Capuchon, Emerald, Emerald Cut Crystal Opal. Yeah, they just, uh, they just smickety smack those super valuable gemstones on them. That's what they do. But sometimes it is also just nice artwork of... Uh, of an elf being killed by... a human. Wonderful. That's... Uh, it's just local art, isn't it? So, yeah. For some odd reason, the elves keep rebuilding the uh, towns north of me, but we are we are constantly attacking new places. That's really giving me hopes. So let's see. Or new talents, though. Oh well. Recruit. I only see that. Yeah, they're just dabbling, and they do need to train so much more where we can really consider sending them somewhere. A moody dwarf can't find his stuff. Oh well. Skeletons. Shining bars of metal. Here, the, the cloth is the issue. But, uh... Obviously we're making exactly the, the cloth that is necessary for the task. So... Should all go fine eventually. I hope so. All right. Beautiful. I love to see a uh, whirring war machine. It's just going so down so well for us all together. And uh, Alice City is also looking quite dandy, doesn't it? Still have no clue how I will make the roof on this building. Maybe we just make something, something smallish here. So, just something like this. Yeah, let's see if the goofballs manage to ruin that as well. And a little bit of... Ah, oh, well. Let's not do the roof here while the Alanite is not available. I've uh, I, I've learned my lessons, alright? 
Okay, my good friends. That marks today's episode's end with a uh, hematite finding. Lovely. This is just so good. And uh, stranded citizens? Ah! Oops, I did it again. Well, my friends, thanks for being around. Let me know what you thought in the comment section. And feel free to leave me a thumbs up, consider subscribing, and check out the description box where you can find plenty of links leading to my Dwarf Fortress things. Also, feel free to check out the supporty links if you feel like my work is worth a dime to you. This would really mean a lot to me. It's big thanks to everybody who does support Icon Gaming. I really, really appreciate Consider also taking my thanks for being around until the very end, and see you all on the next one. Bye-bye!